Well, I am running a rondecita like a madman. And this ship more than anything else. Okay, let's see. Ha! Huh, my military strength is at a maximum. What do you know? Yeah, I did read they were planning for Mass Effect 4 already. Well, I don't mind it doesn't ha- Yeah, I don't mind talking or walking. Yeah. Fighting and shooting is not what I play this game for. Admiral Sense Research Team salvaged advanced AI relays from the wreckage of the Get's Dreadnought's flagship. Sent used the valuable technology to write a custom BI that oversees the energy output of the Crucible's fusion reactors and adjusts itself automatically. Yeah, we're all they always make walled gardens. Uh, it's not like uh, any game from Bethesda. Yeah, all, they are very well crafted uh, spaces, but yes, they are not that big. Until recently, the Geth expected nothing but violence from organics and designed themselves accordingly. All Geth platform, platforms are armed, shielded, and built to withstand combat. But there are the battlefield enemy tactics and positions are swapped instantaneously between the AIs. The Geth also employ turrets and drones expendable hardware to support, support to keep losses of networked platforms to a minimum. The result is the largest and perhaps best equipped infantry in the galaxy. Many Geth peasants are built to explore, mine, or provide transport between factories and space stations, but every Geth ship, regardless of purpose, it's also capable of engaging hostile forces, some bound by the Treaty of Firaxen. The Syntactic Intelligence built almost as many dreadnoughts as the Torrents. The software running the ships is, get, is the Get themselves. Highly advanced electronic security measures and cyber warfare suits bolster already formidable power. Deleting the Get heretics depleted Get numbers, giving the Aquarians an advantage when their flotilla began the assault on Ranok. As a result, damage to the Aquarian fleet is not as extensive as projections estimated. I will do so, Bottle. In fact, as soon as I finish Mass Effect 3, I will start playing all the classes of... Uh, of... W... Uh, of code... Uh, the Old Republic to create the characters before they go to free to play and I cannot do I cannot do characters in their correct racial stereotypes <laughs> so I'm going to go and create like a madman the characters I need on different races than the ones they are going to allow allowing free to play Admiral Darok Sen is the head of the Quarian Special Projects research vessels that create and improve the technology that keeps the Quarian flotilla operational. Stein the Geth all her life. Sen is an expert on synthetic intelligences. The civilian fleet makes up most of the Quarian flotilla. Properly coordinated, the fleet compensates for its lack of dedicated warships with its sheer numbers. Even its smallest craft are equipped with ship-to-ship -ship weaponry. The civilian life ships, enormous floating gardens that produce food for the quarians, have also been fitted with massive thanix cannons to provide heavy firepower. Deleting the Geth heretics depleted. Okay, well, right, right, that. Any pirates or mercenaries attempting to prey on the quarian flotilla must contend with the heavy ships, cruisers, frigates, fighters, and carriers. The fleet is led by Admiral Han Guerrero. The Admiral firmly believes in the importance of ship maintenance and regular training exercises and actively encourages those on pilgrimage to seek out technology that will upgrade their fleet's capabilities. As a result, cutting edge technology is often found in the best of the heavy fleet's vessel. The fleet sustained damage to several dozen frigates that were unable to repair themselves in time to avoid the destruction during the War of Rannoch. I do watch that that uh, TV show, yes. I haven't watched the current uh, season, but all the previous ones I have. Uh, deleting the Geth 
heretics depleted Geth numbers, giving the quarians an advantage when their flotilla began to assault the assault on Rannoch. As a result, damage to the quarian fleet is not as extensive as... Uh, already read that. The patrol fitter scouts flying ahead of the flotilla on the lookout for minor bodies and hostile forces. They can spare with BI systems that pick up heat signatures and other signs of foreign vessels. At the first ships to target in any conflict, some of the Quarians' finest engineers monitor and repair the patrol fleet shielding. The fleet of commanding officer is Admiral Shalaran relies on speed shields during combat. Alright. That's it. So we basically already won the game. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. When will they start showing the dark side of Anakin? Because that started to manifest itself quite early, I guess. And Sidious always doing a great job of corrupting and subverting. I also like how they show the inner workings of the separatists. A Reaper. That giant thresher ma helping. Damn right. We just showed the galaxy we could beat him. No, you're incorrect. We killed one. There are thousands. Commander, you've got a new message at your private terminal. Possibly millions. I hear you were on the ground with the Reaper. He fired up at us a few times. Joker pulled the Normandy through some insane maneuvers to stay out of the line of fire. Don't worry, trainer. Joker knows better than to let anything happen to my favorite comm officer. Flatter me all you like. I'm still not feeding your fish. I was terrified at first, strapped into a safety harness. I can only imagine what it was like having that thing chasing you. But then I was furious. Just... <sighs> enraged. I wanted that thing dead. You didn't want the Reapers dead when they attacked Earth? I wanted them defeated. I wanted Earth saved. But I never wanted to physically tear them in half and watch them blow up. Congratulations, trainer. I believe you've discovered your fight-or-flight instinct. Perhaps I should have stayed with chess. Although now I think I'm spoiled by the lack of explosions. Okay. I mean, but... Commander. As soon as I find something suitable, I will... <laughs> say it in Spanish. You know, James Vega speaks a lot of Spanish for some reason. Gotta hand it to you, Commander. That's the first time I've seen someone end a war by yelling. I hope that if Tally could see reason, then the rest of the Koreans might listen too. I had hoped my cooperation with Tally, along with Legions, would help her question her socialized prejudice. Yeah, kinda hard to dehumanize someone who's right there guarding your back. And now we've got two fleets for the price of one. We didn't lose anybody. Except Legion. Before it sacrificed itself. Legion referred to itself as I instead of we. Yeah? So? The singular pronoun indicates Legion's independent personality had fully actualized. In its last moments, it was not an avatar of the Geth consensus. It was a person. That's what I figured. Well, when the Geth fleet helps us retake Earth, I guess we'll owe that to him. I agree, Bottom. Creating a moderately good looking female shepherd is very difficult. And the one they made uh, by default does not look like a real person. Commander. It's on your mind, Edie. I was just reflecting. The Quarian's historical era was not making the Geth enough like them. I'm not sure I understand. Units with networked intelligences will trend toward cooperation for mutual benefit. But units with central heuristics establishing an individual personality, such as myself, develop preferences. These preferences form attachments that keep my calculations from devaluing the worth of the lives aboard the Normandy. You're saying the Geth <laughs> turned on the Quarians because they aren't individuals? That is my theory. But it is limited to a sample size of one society. 
The only other notable synthetic society is the Reapers, and we do not know if they govern by consensus as the Geth do. Do me a favor, don't ask them. I played the first Unleashed one. Yes, the second? No. I didn't like that you had to turn against the dark side. Didn't see a point, really. Okay, from Talisora. Alright, I'll read this in Spanish, just because you want. Encontré trabajo que hacer. Shepard, solo quería decirte que encontré. Uh, que. Voy a ir a trabajar con Adams en ingeniería. <laughs> Alright, translating on the flight is rather difficult. Realmente parece el mejor lugar para ayudar. Siempre y cuando... <ríe> Me voy a ir contigo. Bueno, well, it doesn't matter. Por favor, baja cuando tengas un minuto. Tally, alright, there you go. Random Spanish stop. Commander, with assistance from the Geth, our fleet is nearly back to full strength. We have focused most of our efforts on providing evacuation assistance. Pass Ranok, okay. And support for the Turian fleet, while the Geth harass the Reapers even with our newfound peace, it seems foolish to risk an incident by putting our forces in closer proximity. Understand from Admiral Sen that the crucial project continues well through Sen herself seems dissatisfied with the technological capabilities of the device. Though eccentric, she's also brilliant. Hopefully she will find one way to improve its functionality. Really? You can play as a dark side guy? Okay. I would never have believed you could walk hang down under the care for Talisora for me. Well. From Diana Alders. It may be hard to believe after what we just went through, but the rest of the galaxy is just barely aware the quarantine ever went into the veil, let alone the start of the war with the West. We're sitting on a major piece of history here! I want gather material from all the players except you! Can I get into your cabin for an hour and get your thoughts on me? Yes. <laughs> Difficult to tell which one is my native language. Alright. But that means I speak Spanish very badly. Or with a very heavy accent as well. <laughs> All right. Why do they insist in giving me a piece of shit? Now I am broken my nose in the past. <laughs> Nor anything really. I don't think I want any of this. The only real thing is that... Maybe it's because where I live is rather cold. It's always cold. Maybe it's some sort of... Uh, congestion or whatever. Due to cold sickness or something. May be true. Okay, apparently I haven't gotten anything new here.
okay. Why not? There we go! Let's see if Mr. GV is around. <laughs> no, I live very high up in the mountains. I can't believe you got the Geth and Quarians to play nice. You should get a medal for that alone. It looks like we just need to get the Asari on board. And we can finally focus on the Reapers. But I don't suppose it'll be as easy as all that. Nothing ever is. One step at a time, I guess. Three hundred years it took to take back the Quarian homeworld. I sure as hell hope it doesn't take that long for us. I'm ready to see Earth again, Shepard. I still can't believe you went inside again. I don't even... <laughs> Look. Completely local. Loco, loco. Hey. There you go. He's from Texas, I last bet. The guerrillas do hide in the mountains, but far away where I am. I'm in a city. They hide in the forests and in the I don't know how it's called in English everything okay Shepard ma'am how is it called in English let me try to remember I don't know it's a good question Another Reaper has died. You are proving that humans are capable soldiers. But I question this peace you have brokered. No such thing is possible between machines and organics. I would have destroyed the synthetics without hesitation. And these Quarians, let's just hope they are reliable allies. It is difficult to trust a species that hides behind masks. Yeah, Jarek is quite forceful in his approach. Okay, let me check up that that word. Because I'm yeah, a little no, I need from Spanish to English. There we go. Let's see if... Yeah, it does exist. High plateau. <laughs> Bleak upland or moor. Uh, moor? I, I would have said that. The highlands. That's not really what it means here. No. The moorland. What the fuck is a moor? Now, this is... Bullshit. This is not what I mean. High exposed area. <laughs> Ridiculous. There is no word in English. <laughs> the only conflict you should concern yourself with is ending the one with the Reapers. Diplomacy does not win wars. Powerful and plentiful firearms do. But the problem with him... No, but what what we mean by Paramo here is a very very high place in the mountains where where there is always mm, there is always what? Okay, let's say it's so high that they with only two eyes. Evolution has taken a strange turn in this cycle. Do not care what others think. Do what you must. Do not care what others think. Do what you must. So high that the that, that the clouds sometimes are around and it condensates water a lot. Now pa paramo. 
spot. <laughs> yeah. Kenneth, you comment on every woman's figure but mine. Well, I... What? You don't like my legs? Gabby, it, it's you. You know? No, chicken shit, I don't know. All you do is make stupid sexist comments to avoid saying anything real. Gabby, now's not the time. We've got work to do. Responsibilities. Ah, uh, grow a pair, Ken. Look around you. Tomorrow may not come. Something to say, or no? Gabby, please. We have a duty to the ship and the crew. What about us? Just... <sighs> listen to yourself. Kenneth, you comment on every woman's figure but mine. Oh, okay, let's support I... hair. What? You don't like my leg? We're not fighting this war for ourselves, Donnelly. We're fighting for the people close to us. Time is short. I see your point, Commander. Gabby, I think your legs are spectacular. <laughs> well, that's a start. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Commander? All good, Commander. Nothing to report, Commander. Ah, look at the hair. Finally here. Can't be. No. Well, I guess that's right. Hey, Tally. How's it going? Oh, sorry. I didn't hear you. I just got communication from the fleet. Sorry, uh, from Ramok. In the old days, I'd sent any new technology I found back to the fleet. I should probably be doing that with the agriculture samples now. I, I don't know anything about raising crops. How are your people doing? Okay. It's crazy. The Geth are helping. Setting up housing, adapting power systems. They are doing in weeks what would have taken us years. Geth are even uploading into the suits of Quarian volunteers. They're rewriting environmental functions, jump-starting our immune systems. See you again in a minute, Bottle. That doesn't seem possible. The Geth are software, not hardware. They can transfer themselves from a normal body into anything with enough processing power. They're mimicking infections, so the host can adapt without getting sick. It's like making a vaccine. Okay, that's pretty amazing, yeah. So the Quarians won't have to wear those suits anymore. It doesn't seem possible, but yes, in a few years, with Geth improvements, we won't need them. We might still wear them. The suits have become part of our society. But a rupture won't be a death sentence. Today, on Ranok, there are Quarian children who will grow up healthy and strong, thanks to the Geth. I owe that to you. No. I'd have killed the Geth with no regrets. And I'd have been wrong. Thank you. I can't believe my people are working with the Geth. I would still kill every single one of the aliens without regret. The Geth are helping us rebuild. I never thought I'd see it. Our scientists and the Geth have done amazing work on the Crucible together. Hey, Shepard. If I didn't need their fucking warships to fight the war... I would have killed them all! go to her the end I, I don't know commander I'm doing a segment on the Geth Quarian war it should take maybe an hour can we talk in your cabin yes call me up when you're ready for that interview commander do we need to talk commander not right now I'll... let me know when we do okay next I don't know why I always enter the bathroom. There is nothing in there. Impressed you got those two groups together. <laughs> we'll see how long the peace lasts. Commander? We'll see. It's 
especially when I use the fleets of the Citadel to crush your opposition to a new human empire. Then the peace will not last that long, I guess. All right. For some reason, the ship looks like it's still in construction. Another Reaper gone, and peace between the Geth and Quarians. It's amazing. And now my people have a world to fight for. Something they know will last forever. Yeah. So long as you and the Geth remain good neighbors. They're not our servants anymore. I'm not sure what we should call them. Allies? Friends. There's still too many wounds on either side, but maybe one day. Forever. Forever until the sun goes, no one kills everyone. That's your forever. The migrant fleet and the Geth warships have joined Admiral Hackett. And the Reapers still don't know where <laughs> the Crucible is. They must be blind. Feel free to look around. Well, I am. Feel free to look around. From Sergeant Kavanagh to Sergeant Ichi. Next time you want to warn me about the Geth, our old friends, and that maybe we're not supposed to shoot the big robots, I almost pissed myself when these primes started dropping out the sky and moping up the Reapers. We fired a few rounds at them until we realized they weren't firing back. Then, when this one comes over and said, they are all like assistants and ask for our status. <laughs> I'm not complaining, they saved my crew, but I'm never letting down. I need to apologize to a get for shooting one of his dime lights off. Greetings, Commander. Uh, forwards. Peace between the Geth and Quarians. Who would have thought? Not how I ever imagined that would turn out. Next, you'll be telling me the Krogan and Turians are cooperating. Oh, <laughs> right. You managed that one, too. You're a peacemaker, Shepard. A rare thing these days. Now, if you can pacify the Reapers, we'll make you a saint. <laughs> Not sure if having an army of Geth behind us gives me confidence or makes me feel like there's a target on my back. How's it going? How's it going? Well, that's only nine in the East Coast. It would help all involved if you could barter a trade of medical supplies with the Citadel. Uh, yeah, I'm going to Citadel next. Stop pestering me with that bullshit. I swear I'm going to Citadel and we're going to have a long talk with everyone there, apparently. Alright, let's talk to his girl. What does she need from me now? Maybe another shower? I cannot invite my fucking fuck man. That's what I should do after every mission. We could die in the next one. Trainer, That's can you send up Diana Allers? She wants to talk to me. She's on her way, Commander. As we have done so many I'm times. Sure you got a million questions. I narrowed it down to 40. Let's see how you do with the top 10. Commander, the last time most of us heard about Geth, they were attacking the Citadel alongside Sovereign. Yes, and you should know that was a minority of the Geth. Most of them are not hostile to organics. Is that how you explain that they're allies and no longer dangerous robots who stick humans on spikes? If you want to fight tireless, merciless machines, it helps to have tireless, merciless machines of your own. We freed them from Reaper control and they're looking for payback. That's exactly what we want. But you're going to take an army of synthetics to fight Reapers with untold hacking abilities. What's keeping the Reapers from reprogramming the Geth like they have before? The Geth are extremely intelligent and they've put incredible thought into solving this problem. They're not going to turn again. 
I'd bet my life on it. Okay. Now here's a question from a Batarian on Omega. Commander Shepard, if the mass relays can be destroyed... So did I miss anything? Do you have any questions? You gonna go file your story now? Well, if you don't mind. Go tell the galaxy what we've done. I could use some good news. Aye aye, Commander. Okay. Desperate measures. I'm not going to change my helmet because I got one shot that that's not... But I did get a new gauntlet, didn't I? Pretty sure. Okay, I'm going to stay with what I have right now. See how those work, rather well. I'm get killed at least that much. If I get killed other than a one shot, I'll change the helmet, I think. For this one, I never got killed with this one. But first...